Hi, I'm Ken. Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm going to go over how I built this dehumidification kiln behind me. If you do have any questions as far as how I built it or any of these details that maybe I skipped over a little bit too much, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, but let's get started. What I did off camera there is I screwed down the middle 2x4, I doubled up the screws along the front, got some extra screws in the back, um, I ripped down a 8 foot and then a 4 foot section 2x4 for the front to make this a full 4 foot width. So next I'm going to cut the insulation for the floor part here, get that fit in. So I got all these panels <laughs> cut to fit for in between the long 12 foot 2x4s. All these should be pretty much a friction fit. I might need to trim out just a little bit. Uh, that's what I'm going to do here now is fit this in and then I'll lay down the floor. All right, so what I did, I cut down four two by fours uh, to 40 and a half or whatever it is. Uh, they're all the exact same length. That's kind of more important than what their exact uh, length is. Um, they're the front and back posts for each of the sides. Uh, I'm gonna use them right now though to help position the 12 foot two by four on the back wall. Um, I'm not making a back wall for it. The wall itself is going to be the back wall. Uh, it's insulated, it should be just fine. Um, and as well as the outlet in there so I can use that for the power for the dehumidifier, etc. So as you can see, I got that side done. Uh, the far side that is coming next. Um, basically just a two by four on the bottom, two by four across the top, three along the you know, front, middle and back. Um, well, two on the back actually. Um, that's really all there is to it. Uh, I don't feel I need to go in depth into that. If you do have any questions, definitely leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, otherwise, I'm going to keep rolling here. After I'm done with this side, put that on. I will put the start building the top portion. So as you can see, got it completed. I got my first load of lumber in here. It's about 150 board foot of red oak. Some is cut to four quarter, six quarter, and a little bit of eight quarter. A couple of eight quarter points in there. Uh, the insulation is was all put in. I did most of that off camera. Uh, it's uh, inch and a half the Dow XPS insulation. It's a closed cell uh, insulation. Um, it I put it onto the door and this larger kind of door over here opening, I guess. Um, with some uh, adhesive specially made for it. I don't have much experience with it. My understanding is if you don't use the right uh, adhesive for it, it will kind of eat the insulation and destroy the insulation value of it and it may not adhere correctly. It's a little more expensive. It's about $5 a tube, but I only needed, I think, two tubes for it. As you can see, I have a small home dehumidifier, well, a medium-sized home dehumidifier in there and a small uh, small space heater basically I picked that up on clearance for about 10 bucks uh, the dehumidifier was on sale but it ran about 150 uh, and then I just have a small fan back in that corner there to circulate the air back I'm not sure if the airflow is going to be as much as I want it to be but so far so good I did go through and seal up with silicone 
along all the two by fours so they meet the wall and where the two by fours meet the floor and the sides meet the floor. Um, seems to be pretty well sealed up. So the total cost was about $250 for materials. It includes six sheets of OSB, uh, six sheets of that XPS insulation, um, I think three 12 foot two by fours. Uh, I ended up using 10 um, eight foot two by fours. All right, so that's all I can think of for this project. If you do have any questions, comments about anything I didn't cover, or maybe I skipped over a little too much, feel free to leave them. I'll be happy to answer anything you may have. Um, also, be sure to follow along my monthly or bi-weekly, depending on how it works out, uh, shop updates. Those will include kiln information, what I'm drying, uh, anything like that if you are interested. Um, kind of how it goes, any issues I have, um, and the fixes that I found for those issues. Until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.